Hello students. So through this session we'll move towards the grammatical part again and uh, here we'll continue degrees of adjectives. As you all know that we had done adjectives earlier also but yes in detail degrees of uh, different adjective we hadn't done so in this session we'll continue with that only. So let's start. So students you know that that every adjective have three degrees. First one is positive second is comparative and at last we used to have the superlative degree Uh, most of the students actually get confused in three forms of verbs and adjectives that I have seen as uh, I was teaching you in the previous classes. So here students will pick the adjectives only and adjectives will be further divided into degrees. There will be no forms of adjectives. So how it will be or uh, we'll see here through the examples and apart from that a uh, few of the uh, main things I'll tell you about this so that you'll have to follow. So students I'm starting with the very first example here. You all know that what are adjectives. Adjectives are those words uh, which describe something or someone. So suppose we have a very first adjective here. Clever. So let me clear one thing that this is the positive degree. And uh, clever you know it is just describing someone the word is used to describe someone who is clever so when you make its comparative degree it will become cleverer and similarly when you will go with its superlative degree it will be cleverest here I want to clear one thing that uh, the adjectives which are having consonants at the end like R it's a consonant not a vowel so definitely their comparative degree will end with ER and their superlative degree will end with EST so this is almost with every adjectives which are ending with the consonants. So here I am giving you few more examples uh, like this only. You will note down all these in your notebook by making the table and uh, uh, likewise you will continue with this. So let's start with the next example. Next we have cold. It will be colder comparative degree and coldest superlative degree next I'm having dark these all are positive degrees simple adjectives you must say Comparative degree you know where we use when we used to do the comparison between the two people many people and uh, places even and here superlative degree when we have to choose the best one when we have to choose the superlative degree of any adjective then EST will be there so likewise I'm telling you here dark it will be darker and then superlative of dark will be darkest next we have Fast. Further. Faster. And its superlative degree will be fastest. You will note down again and again. I am reminding you that you will note down all these degrees in your fair notebook. Next I am having few. 
you must be clear with the meaning of every adjective i'm giving here and if not so you can just confirm everything during the live lecture so note down your queries so that it should not be actually uh, remain just confusion few and its superlative degree will be fewer and fewest will its superlative one so students uh, we have few more example here like this able fine large and here you can notice one thing that these adjectives are not ending with a consonant actually these are ending with e you know that and e is a vowel but as you all know that when we have to make its comparative degree then we have to use er and for superlative degree we have to use est at the end of the adjective but here already e is present so without having any confusion you will have to use one e only you will remove this e and the er of comparative degree and est of superlative degree will be used to make its different degrees like able is there so its superlative degree will be able here we are using according to the tradition er only we are removing here that e we are not using the proper spelling of this word able and similarly when we'll go with its superlative one so here also we'll do the same able est a blessed further likewise we are having some another same kinds of example like fine it will be finer and then finest similarly large is there so larger don't think we are using only r here we are here using er for making these degrees comparative we are removing the last vowel of these words and here largest some more examples will be there like nice it will be nicer and nicest likewise noble it will be nobler and noblest now for the students we have some more adjectives those who are ending with consonants we used to double their last alphabet their last con consonant for making their comparative and superlative degree which are those see here like big is there here i'm writing the positive adjective big positive degree and for making its comparative we will just double its last alphabet and it will become bigger and similarly for making its superlative will do the same definitely er and est will be there there but there will be few actually confusions uh, in uh, super in degrees of adjectives so that i wanted to clear so it will become biggest similarly same kind of examples are there hot it will be hot er this last consonant will be double and here it will be hottest similarly we can take one more thin it will be thinner and double and will be used here for the comparative one and same will be here for the superlative thinnest likewise last one i'm having wet it will be wetter and wettest so you will just note down these also in your notebook so students likewise there are many minute things you are going to learn and i am just telling you here 
that some other adjectives are also there those who are ending with y for making the superlative and comparative degree what we used to do we just convert that y into i and this confusion of spelling must not be there if you want to write these degrees of adjective properly so likewise for example we have a adjective here easy you know that it is ending with y and when we have to make its comparative one so spelling must be clear definitely that y will convert into i and it will become easier likewise superlative degree will be easiest same kinds of examples we are having funny funnier funniest likewise happy happier happiest students uh, these things are there as you all know that we had done parts of speech in detail actually in the beginning and almost we had revised everything but still few of the things are there those uh, are confusing and when definitely you will go for your further classes so it will these things if you are actually familiar with so these things will help you that's why i thought that i should continue with this and a uh, few more examples i can give you here like uh, lucky luckyo everywhere i am converting y into i and then luckiest so uh this was all about today uh, this is the only first part i am sharing with you and definitely when we'll uh, go with the second video of that i will give you few more degrees of adjectives and uh, uh, definitely you will have to learn that also and you should know uh, somewhere uh, that what is the reason of changing the uh, spellings and all so here i am ending this video thank you